Hey Spirit Scholars, welcome to another edition of PhD in Me TV, pursuing a higher degree in me. I am your student teacher, Empress Shona is loved, and I am thrilled to be doing this video. I just have a quick word of encouragement and edification for you today. This is Sunday, November 4th, 2018, okay? So today I'm going to be coming to you by one of my mentors from afar, Miss Joyce Meyer. Yes, she's been doing her thing for some time. And over the years, Joyce Meyer has encouraged me in various ways. At the end of the day, she may not be perfect, but the woman has a gift. And even the whole concept of may not be perfect, guess what? She's in line with the rest of humanity, which created, which was created in the image of God. So guess what? In that sense, we may all be perfect at the end of the day, right? Created in the image of God. And so I am just really just making that comment about the perfection because sometimes people need to hear that a person is flawed okay for some reason people need to hear that um, otherwise they think that you are worshiping the person or idolizing the person okay so that's where I'm coming from with that but I'm not even going to belabor the point any longer because the fact of the matter is sister Joyce Maya has a gift okay and so um i don't worship her but i am sure grateful for her gift so here's a picture of her god bless sister joyce my she's one of those strong personalities too and i'm so grateful i really am grateful for her ministry because i have that type of personality and it is not easy being born in female form with um alpha tendencies okay those tendencies of strength and those tendencies of power and sister joyce she has those okay and in that sense she's been a blessing to me over the years she really has and so many times and ways that she's kept it so real and also sister joyce myers has an amazing 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 testimony so if you're not familiar with her go check her out i mean even if you um have not chosen the christian um path her testimony um is just amazing from the human perspective i mean it is just an amazing story of forgiveness and darkness and light and just on and on and on so again i don't know how you couldn't be familiar with sister joyce meyer but if you're not go check her out and specifically check out her testimony and this woman will have something to uplift you and edify your day okay so i'm going to go ahead and um read her out of her book devotional the confident woman and is 365 daily inspirations i have multiple um uh, devotionals by so many different people from various faith paths actually but I'm choosing uh, sister Joyce Meyer today because I like what this said and I'm actually using the one um, from November 3rd even though by the time you'll see this it will be November 4th if YouTube does right <laughs> so here we go it says contentment and it's, the scripture is coming from the book of John chapter 3 verse 27 and this is what it said. John answered, a man can receive nothing, which means he can claim nothing. He can take unto himself nothing except as it has been granted to him from heaven. A man must be content to receive the gift which is given him from heaven. There is no other source. And here's the feed back from that scripture that Sister Joyce wrote. She said, John the Baptist's disciples were getting concerned that Jesus was baptizing too, and that everyone was leaving their master, who was John the Baptist, and flocking to him. They went to John with this report. You know, you always got a snitch in the crowd. Always got a snitch in the crowd. Had John not been secure in himself and in his calling, he may have become fearful and jealous. He may have felt led to compete with Jesus in order to maintain his ministry. 
But John's attitude was, I can only do what I have been divinely authorized and empowered to do. So I must be content with that gift and calling. Because of my background, this is Sister Joyce talking, I was always comparing myself with other people, frequently jealous of their possessions and abilities. I tried to keep up with everyone else. Does that sound familiar, spirit scholars? Often I felt pressured and frustrated because I was operating outside my gifts and calling. When I finally realized that I could not do anything unless God had ordained and anointed it, I started relaxing and saying, I am what I am. I can't be anything unless God helps me. Wow. I am just going to concentrate on being the best me I can be. Listen, she says, God doesn't want you to be like someone else. He wants you to be the best you can be. And then she ends it with a prayer. And so if you need a prayer prompt today, come on and pray this prayer with me that Sister Joyce wrote. It's very simple, very short. And it says, Lord, help me to find that place of being content with who I am and what I have. By your grace, I want to be the best me I can be. Amen. Spirit Scholars, the title of that devotional was Contentment. And it really stuck out to me because I find that particularly in this social media age and day that we're in, a lot of people are comparing themselves with other people, with other circumstances, with gifts and talents other than their own. And I am here to remind you and to bring to your attention that that is a big waste of time. God gave you what he gave you specifically to you to bless you and to bless someone else. And you need to focus on that and develop that so that you can be your best self, pursue that higher degree in yourself, and then be a blessing to someone else. Amen? Of course, amen, okay? And if you don't know what amen means, it means I agree and it is so, okay? And so if you agree with me, say amen. And also be sure to hit the subscribe button because I'm back from fall break. <laughs> and I'm back and ready to get the schedule back in gear. What's the schedule? Right here on this channel, every Sunday, every Thursday, you will be getting a upload, okay? As far as I can make it happen, all right? And that doesn't include any YouTube shadiness. <laughs> but as far as it depends on me, you will be getting up until the end of the year an upload every Sunday for your edification and encouragement and every Thursday for your holistic well-being, okay? So make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you share the channel because sharing is caring. Isn't this a beautiful fall day, Spirit Scholars? <laughs> and make sure you know that I am coming at you with excitement and joy. Yes, the joy of the Lord that gives me strength. Abundant love, beloveds.